This question is about bearings at a non-90 degree triangle and it tells you that we've got Runel standing 17 meters from a bridge which is B and Runel standing 32 meters from a um, tree which is D. The angle between B and T is 40 degrees and it asks you to calculate the distance B T. Okay, the distance B, T is asked. So that is a side. Now remember people, if a side is asked, you can use the sine or the cosine rule. I always check whether I can use the sine rule. But if you look at that drawing people, I've got no full pair. Okay, so even if I have half a pair, it is not going to help me. So I cannot use the sine rule. I must use the cosine rule. Okay. And remember, with the cosine rule, we are just simply going to label our sides. This is T, the, this one is B, this side is R, okay? And our cosine rule is BT squared, all right? The question mark gives me the 17 squared plus the 32 squared minus 2 times 17 times 32 cos 40 degrees. Now, remember people, this is a side and angle and a side. Okay, this is now not very obvious, but this is a T, okay? And T goes along with sus, okay? And your formula for the um, cosine rule is then A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cos C, because this one is C squared. All right, so I hope you remember that. So when you read that into your calculator, remember it is very important that this is read into the calculator all at once. Do not place equal signs in between. Then we get the 479. And to get rid of the square, we must take the square root. So my distance is 21.9 meters. Okay. So this is 21.9 meters. That is R or it is the side that is being asked. Then they ask you to calculate angle B, T, R. B, T, R. So let's look. B, T, R. This one is asked. Okay. And now you have got a full pair because you have calculated R. Okay. You now got this as a full pair. Okay. Remember we draw a circle around like that. And we've got this. as half pair and the remainder of this is made up by the question mark okay which is angle t so i have now ruined this whole thing okay let me just do it here in pencil we've got this as a full pair and we've got this as half a pair and this angle is a question mark so that means i can use the sin rule okay so we have sin of btr of btr remember we always put the question mark at the top over 17 over 17 equals the sin of 40 the sin of 40 over 21.9 okay and then we have cross multiplication we do goros or oh, oh. we get the sin of btr being 0 0.4989678 and then remember use second function or shift sin to get the angle okay so this angle is then 29.93 which we're going to round to one decimal place because it's an angle which gives me 29.9 degrees so let me enter this 29.9 degrees okay then if we go on they saying the bearing of b from r is 085 the bearing 
of B, I'm just going to erase this so it is a bit more clear. Okay, the pairing of B from R. So we have our north line at R. We then go along clockwise until we meet the journey line. B and R is the ones that are involved. Okay, so this one is 0, 85 degrees. All right. They then asking you the bearing of T from R. So let's find T. This is T from R, meaning we are going to have our north line there. But now T from R is this journey line. Okay? That is what is being asked. So now we go from the north line all the way around. And this is quite easy, people. It's the 85 degrees plus the 40 degrees, which gives you 125 degrees. Okay, the second one is the bearing of R from T. So at T, people, we must have our north line, okay, of R, meaning we are talking about this journey line. Again, the same one, right? And... That means we are asking for this angle. Okay. Now, if you look at that one, we have calculated this one as 125, isn't it? Then let me just use another color. This is 125. And we know that that one lengthen this line, is the alternate angle, so that's also 125, and from north to south is 180, so this bearing is 180 plus 125, which gives you 305 degrees. Okay, and then lastly, they're asking the bearing of B from T, so let's just find T, that's where my north line is, but B from T, we are now talking about this journey line. So now the angle is that is asked starts at the north line. We go all the way clockwise, clockwise, clockwise until we get to the journey line. And this is now, because you've written in all the information, it's really easy to see people. We've got the 180 and the 125 and the 29.9 and if we add all of these we get 334.9 degrees okay lastly very quickly the top of the tree is 30 meters vertically above t remember people now the tree really comes out the tree stands like this okay my pencil so the top is um uh, 30 meters above. So now we are working with the third dimension. We are having this plus the three. Okay, we are having the 32 meters plus the three, which is 30 meters. So we are going into uh, or drawing the second, the two dimensional triangle that we are working with, which is standing upright on the paper here now. Okay, and they get telling you that this is 30 meters. The distance between R and T is 32 meters and you must calculate the angle of elevation. So the angle of elevation really is this angle. So now we are working with a 90 degree triangle. Okay, an angle is being asked. So we are going to work with Sokator. Right, let's identify. This is the angle that is involved. Opposite is the hypotenuse. This is the adjacent, this is the opposite. So if you look at that, opposite and adjacent is given. The angle is being asked, all right? So we are going to use 10. The 10 of R is 30 over 32. Okay, put that into your calculator. Press the second function, 10, and you will get 43.2 degrees. Okay, I hope this is all clear.